welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is gonna be a makeup look, and we're gonna do like a pinky, um, orange look. I have made a poll on Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see orange and pink colors or blue and purple colors. Oh no 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 no! Wait. Yeah, or blue or purple colors, and the blue or purple colors won, so my bad. No, we're not doing orange or pink, we're doing orange or purple. Um, so, if you're new here, what's up? My name's Angela, and really, I just make, like, makeup videos. I'm not the greatest at makeup, so if you think you're like, why is this girl doing makeup? It's just because I enjoy it, and um, I do vlogs, talk about life stuff. So yeah, um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button because today's video is going to be really good. Um, all my videos are really good. <laughs> and comment down below or message me, DM me, whatever on you guys, on what you guys want to see next. Um, I should still do want to do like an orange and pink look. So I'm going to do that look next week. Because I have like this vision in mind with it. So yeah anyway let's get right into it um first i'm going to start off by priming my face and i'm going to be using the elf poreless putty primer okay now i'm going to go in with my elf flawless finish foundation and i'm going to be actually going in with my elf sponge i've been going in with the brush but i want to see how it does with the sponge so I'm just gonna put two pumps. I wanted to blend that primer better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. I might have put a little bit too much foundation, but we'll see. Now I'm just gonna pounce this in. you see how like I really should have been doing this sponge the whole time with this foundation because it literally looks so flawless I don't know if you guys can see I do have a little bit of pimples so it may not look the best to you guys but in person this looks bomb AF <laughs> We are gonna go in with some concealer. I'm honestly running out of this, and that's fine because I want to try the 16 hour camel concealer by e.l.f. So, and I have really bad circles I mean, dark circles. I do not sleep, I don't know why. I can never fucking sleep. I don't go to sleep till like 5 in the morning. Dead ass. Today, I didn't go to sleep till 6 30. Ridiculous. And I'm also gonna try, um, and I'm also gonna go in with my e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. And since I have my beauty blender, I'm gonna try something new. Let's see. So anyway, I'm gonna use this like as a translucent powder. I wanna try a translucent powder, I really do. But the last time I tried one, my face got really red and itchy. So if you guys know any good ones that's good for sensitive skin, combination skin, because that's what I have now. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I really like drugstore, but I'm open to high end as long as it's good for sensitive skin because high end really makes my skin really irritated and itchy for some reason. But I'm just gonna 
set the bottom of my eyes with it like so I have really bad dark circles and bags honestly I didn't think this was gonna work but it, the, the powder really looks better this way so I'm just gonna set my whole face like that Now we're gonna go into the eyes. Um, I'm gonna real quick prime them with this. What color are we doing today? Blue and purple. Blue and purple. So first I am going to go in with my Profusion Infatuation Palette. I know I use the same palettes over and over again, but honestly, I don't really do my makeup anymore on a daily basis. I only do my makeup for videos. So um, I like, how do I say this? I just haven't bought any new ones because I haven't felt the need to. But I'm going to go with this shade called Oasis. And that's gonna be my first transition shade. So I'm gonna just work that into my crease. Now I don't set my concealer with any powder so I do have to go into tapping motions and then um, blend it in. If you have any questions or anything like that for me, you can always comment. You don't have to go and find my Instagram. I mean, it's cool if you follow me. Um, but I don't know, like I've noticed a lot of people after some of my videos, they'll like DM me. And honestly, you guys can comment. I love when people comment and it honestly helps my engagement. So comment down below if you have any questions on why I do what I do with my eye or um, what you guys want to see next, what kind of videos you guys want to see, share my videos, please. <laughs> um, honestly, the other day, I was so bummed because my, um, my pro-choice, pro-life video was doing so good. I was getting so many views. I almost hit 200. Sorry, y'all. The freaking sun messed up my life. Anyway, like I was saying, um, my video was doing so good, right? Like the views was going up like pretty fast and I almost hit 200 and then out of nowhere the next day I seen and it dropped all the way down to 98. Now, I don't know why that happened. I don't know, like something went wrong with YouTube or something. I'm not too sure, but it kind of like bummed me out and I just was like giving up on doing YouTube and Paul was like, so do you do it for the views or you do it because you enjoy it? And to be honest, I do it because I enjoy it. I really do. It's, this is fun to me making videos. I've always wanted to be in front of the camera. I tried to do modeling once, but um, I had to pay the agency like for my headshots, um, stuff like that. And I just didn't have the money for that at the time. I was like my junior year in high school. I've just always, like, I don't know. I just feel like this is meant for me. Like not YouTube necessarily, but just being in front of the camera some type of way is meant for me. And I don't have the outlets or resources to do so. So I feel like YouTube is fun to me. But I do 
wish I had more views. I do wish, like, obviously, I'm not going to be, like, this big YouTuber. I mean, at least I don't think so. And if I ever do, that'd be great. Um, but it does bum me out when, like, my views are not going up. Because I work so hard, y'all. Like, I have to put JC on in the living room with Paul. Like, they're not allowed in the room. I have to film in here. Um, I have to do it on my phone. Because I don't want to invest into a camera if this isn't going to go anywhere, you know? So, like, I want to make sure that people actually enjoy my videos and this is that something that I'm going to do for a while and people are actually watching before I, I invest into it because it's, it's kind of like, I don't do it for the views, but it's nice to have them. And I don't want to invest into something if it's not doing anything for me. So I don't necessarily have to make tons of money off of YouTube, but, like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But anyway, the next color I'm going in with is this one right here. And it's called Shell. It's a very light, light purple. And I'm going to go over the brown shade with that. I'm looking down this is where I have my mirror um. and honestly if you guys are trying to start a YouTube channel and you need help with your intros or your banners your thumbnails anything like that hit me up um, I do charge for some of the stuff like banners and thumbnails um, but I charge very cheap like no more than $20 I would ever charge. It's like between $5 to $20 depending on what you want, what you need. I also do business cards, flyers, Instagram posts, Instagram stories. Like if you have a business or anything like that. Or you're just trying to promote your YouTube or your pages. Anything like that. I'll leave my new um, business designs page for Instagram down below. Now I am very limited to what I can do only because I'm not paying the monthly subscriptions for the softwares and the apps that I use because I don't want to invest into something that I'm not getting anything out of it. So um, once I start making money and profit, profit off of um, doing these designs and stuff, then I'll invest and I'll be able to do more. Um, but then prices will go up as well, you know, because I'll be doing more. Like, I'll be able to do uh, picture-based stuff. So, for now, like, if you have your own logo, you can send it to me and I can make your business cards look nice or your flyers or anything like that. If you have any certain pictures, just hit me up. The prices are cheap compared to other people out there. <sighs> um, but the next color that I will be going into is this one right here. And it is retro. And I'm going to use that same brush that I used. I'm just gonna dab it a little bit. Tap the excess off. And go right below that light purple. I just picked up a little bit on some shader brush and I'm gonna lightly go on the crease with it.
Now I'm gonna blend the crease one more time. And now for the blue. I am gonna get my concealer. And I'm gonna try to find like an angled brush that I can do for eyeliner. And that's gonna be my eyeliner. It's gonna be blue, honey. Okay, what is that? I know I have like a dual ended brush. That's a lip gloss. It's a lip gloss. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna do it with this one. I got lit on my mouth. But. So I'm gonna do. Just dip it. I'm gonna try going to. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I told y'all I'm not good at makeup like that. Oh, fuck. I forgot my eye tips. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, I am back. So we're gonna do that again. <laughs> um, dip it in there a little bit because I don't know if it dried. And then, then create some eyeliner with it. Oh. Before I do that, let me find a brush that I can go in there with the blue. I'll use this one. And where is my blue? right here. Excuse me. With my e.l.f. Matte for Mattes Jewel Pop palette. And I'm going in with that blue right here. So freaking pretty, look at that. can see it but <sighs> I do need to blend that a little bit more though that purple can y'all see that mm. I'll take a picture I'll take a picture later So I just went in and did the second eye really quickly and I went in with a different blending brush just to blend the crease some more out. Um, I'm going to take these eye tips off. Oh, now you guys can see it. So pretty, right? I do have to clean it up a little bit because some of the eyeshadow went out a little bit too far. but. Yeah, let me just deepen the blue a little bit more on the end right here. It's going with a little bit of concealer right there. I 
never know. I like it. I've never done a look like this before, but I like it. Um, oh, shit. I wonder what Paul's going to think. Paul doesn't like colors on eyeshadow. Um, I mean, he'll still tell me, like, if it looks good or not. He just doesn't like colors, but he'll be like, yeah, that looks good. You know, that looks weird. Stuff like that. Um, he, like, even though he doesn't like colors, he'll still tell me if it looks good or not. Now for the um, bottom lash. Oh, the sun. There you go. For the bottom lash, I'm gonna go in with the blue. This one that I went in to use as eyeliner and I'm gonna connect my bottom lash to the eyeliner. see it oh this is why i need another camera honestly for vlogging when i get a camera i'm gonna still use my phone because my phone is better than some of these cameras out here that i've been trying at freaking best buy weird but it is um i just need a camera like for these makeup looks so i can like zoom you guys in That's the that's dead ass the only reason why I need a camera because my vlogs I think they look fine. Like I don't think And that's another thing. If you're trying to start a YouTube, just honestly use your phone. If you have an iPhone, um I did go back and watch all my old videos and I did notice that from Paul's old phone, what was it, the 7, the 8, I don't know, what, whatever the big red phone was before the X came out. Um, this camera, I have the XR and it is better than before. But for makeup videos, I really need to invest in a camera. Um, just because then I can zoom you guys in and stuff like that. Like right now, I can't zoom you in.
So anyways, that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look and um, I'm gonna try to vlog this week for you guys. Um, and then that way I can post another vlog or whatever. Did I put mascara on this eye? Cause it does not look like it. Yeah, I did. But anyway, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look. It was really different and usually, usually I do like browns, um, gold shimmers, pink, like soft pinks, stuff like that. So this was really out of my comfort zone. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to play with some colors and even if I do a bad job, I will still show y'all because you know we learn i used to be really good at makeup really really good like i do my cousin's makeup my sister's makeup um anybody that asked me to do their makeup i do it for them i did my niece's makeup for fun but i stopped doing makeup like eyeshadow stuff like that and i really lost my talent so i'm trying to get back into that but before again i would just do neutrals um sometimes like a pink cut crease but that was it i'm really trying to branch out do greens blues purples yellows oranges you know what i mean but yeah be on the lookout for some more vlogs and more makeup videos and um, a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy me do the pro-life or pro-choice video so if there's any other topics you guys want me to talk about then go ahead and let me know and i'd be more than willing to do it if it's a topic that i actually show interest in and stuff like that then i'd do it for sure but yeah don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below what you guys want to see next. Thanks, guys. Bye.